We're here in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress. I'm standing with Paul Gowans, who's JDSU's Mobility Marketing Manager. Paul, tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here today. Well, our, our focus is around end-to-end -end visibility. You know, looking at users, behaviors, network services, applications, getting a view end-to-end. -end. And we've set up something to show live reporting at major events. So, you know, like a major event like Mobile World Congress, Super Bowl, World Cup, soccer, you know, it's, it's how, are, how are operators performing in this major event where you've got a lot of people in a short space of time. So we're showing multi-operator, multi-handsets, multi-locations, and giving live updates every 15 minutes about performance. And this proves a really valuable tool to get that real-time update on how customers are experiencing a service at a major event. Perfect, and what do we have here? What is, what well, is this piece? To complement that, we're able to take our location intelligence information and uniquely embed it in a base station analyzer. So think of it in a small cell or DAS environment where there's potential interference. You can take location intelligence information, geolocated, embed it in a base station analyzer, and then it allows the contractor to go and find interference issues with much greater speed and accuracy, and thereby delivering much better customer experience to the user. Perfect, well Paul, thanks for sharing that. We're gonna go over and talk with Asaji, and we're gonna talk about backhaul. Great, thank you. Okay, now I'm standing here talking with Asaji Aluihare, who is Director of Marketing at JDSU, and Asaji, tell me what you're talking about here. Yeah, so um, optimizing service performance requires assuring the quality of service end-to-end, -end, including the backhaul. And uh, as operators today are trying to manage costs, the same backhaul is sharing 2G, 3G, 4G, and in some cases, uh, other traffic as well. And as the network becomes more heterogeneous and more difficult to manage, issues such as microbursts and latencies become a major issue. And traditional med methods for assuring that become more and more inadequate. Um, we have extended our Ether Assurance solution, our JDSU uh, Ethernet Service Assurance solution, with the unique ability to monitor hop-by-hop -hop performance with granular view of segmented performance, including things like latency. We can detect microbursts. Uh, this helps operators really uh, pinpoint issues much faster and save operational costs. Uh, our real-time analytics platform, Excite, integrates the data from our uh, Ethernet Assurance solution, EtherAssure, and things like RAN performance data to provide an end-to-end -end view for our customers. Great, well Asaji, thank you so much for sharing some interesting stuff here. Now we're gonna go and talk to Tara about that real-time intelligence. Now I'm standing here with Tara Van Unen, who is the Strategic Marketing Manager at JDSU. And Tara, we're talking about real-time intelligence, right? Yes. So tell me, why is real-time intelligence so critical in delivering personalized services and a dynamic network? Sure, well, um, well, traditional monitoring and assurance solutions are limited to extracting and feeding performance insights in 10 to 15 minute intervals or longer. And this simply isn't good enough when you consider that the majority of premium mobile services today are real-time in nature. Take Bolti, for example. So at JDSU, we have introduced innovative technology across our portfolios that allows multi-dimensional perspective of network performance, service performance, and customer experience in a matter of seconds. And it's this more granular, uh, truly real-time visibility that allows you to deliver much more proactive uh, service quality assurance and to optimize the customer experience. This, this isn't just mandatory for today's services, it's, 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 it's mandatory as you virtualize and, and uh, you know, as networks become more dynamic. In fact, that's the topic of an NFE Catalyst project that we're doing for the TM Forum alongside AT&T, um, Ericsson and Microsoft, where we're illustrating to service providers how they can really harness the power of these real-time analytics um, alongside dynamically defined policies 
to maximize the profitability of NFT orchestration. So can this intelligence be used for data monetization? Absolutely. In fact, that's one of the key advantages that our solution offers, both to our customers and to the technology partners that we're working with, by providing more holistic, contextual, actionable insight in a timely fashion. Uh, we can help third-party analytic platforms that we're feeding uh, really unlock the inherent value in the network data for monetization. We are presenting, or we have a webcast on this topic with EFLAS Telefonica Germany, where we're showing how real-time insight into subscriber behavior and their quality of experience has been used to identify new microservice opportunities um, that they've been able to monetize. So that's it's really exciting stuff. That's great, yeah, I'm glad. I feel like we were sort of able to go down the line and, and here are the ways that JDSU delivers you know, insight so that providers can, can improve their network and improve their services. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Will.